Sublime Text 2 is a cross-platform code and text editor that's currently available for free beta download. So uh, you can download and uh, download it from sublimetext.com. Go to the download link, and um, within there, make sure to select Sublime Text 2 because that's what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, in this video. Uh, so it is available for Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows. And so that's nice because if you're like me and you have multiple multiple machines, it's nice to have a kind of internationalized uh, editor so you don't have to keep um, you know worrying about which environment you're programming on at any given time. So Sublime Text 2 is really nice because it supports TextMate bundles, themes, um, and uh, languages for the most part and uh, all the ones I've installed uh, have been working pretty dang well so uh, there's not too much to worry about there um, so certainly if you're currently a, a TextMate user it's a good alternative to that um, and so I'll be showing you uh, kind of what's nice about Sublime Text in this video uh, so one of the uh, bundles I installed was the uh, TextMate CoffeeScript bundle, so that provides like CoffeeScript uh, highlighting and uh, various like CoffeeScript built functions. Um, I'm not going to show you the building ones, but uh, I will show you just the CoffeeScript text highlighting. And so I'm going into Sublime Text 2. First of all, you can uh, see how the tabs um, are very Chrome browser looking, you can see the resemblance there, um, and uh, on, this, on the left side here we have a uh, nice like kind of Mac style, um, or I should say like Coco style file um, viewer, I guess you could say, it's really nice looking, uh, a bit nicer looking than TextMate's uh, file browser I would say. And then on the right side here, we actually have a um, an indicator of where we are within the uh, file that we're currently editing. So that's pretty nice. So actually, when I go into a file that has that has lots of code and you know it span, it requires a scroll view to see the whole thing. Uh, you can see here on the side, it indicates where I am in the file by highlighting it, and I can drag it around and go up and down within the file. So that's really nice. Um, something that TextMate does not have out, out of the box, at least it's not um, not as far as I'm concerned. Um, the theme I'm using is actually also a TextMate theme. It's the uh, Railscasts uh, color scheme, and uh, I've always liked it. It's easy on the eyes, so uh, this is directly a TextMate uh, theme that I brought into Sublime Text, so just another example of how well TextMate um, stuff works in Sublime. And so here's some coffee script. I actually just copied and pasted this from the coffee script um, website right there. And so that's a good example of how well coffee script uh, is handled here. So like for example, let's see auto indenta indentation. Um, here they're defining a function and if I enter um, it actually auto tabs. You can see here that uh, the tabbing is a little bit off from what I copy and paste. That's probably just because I did copy and paste it from the web, so the tabbing and the spacing is a little bit different. Um, so that's about all I have to say right now. Um, you know, it is a nice editor. I do have TextMate. I have always liked it, but I'm starting to like Sublime Text 2 just a little bit more because I can use it on uh, my Linux machines and my uh, my Mac OS X machines. So um, whenever I'm switching back and forth, which I do sometimes, uh, it's nice to have kind of the same environment all set up and ready to go. Um, so thanks for watching, uh, and before you leave, if you uh, haven't already, go. Uh, I'm starting to post more videos on uh, my blip.tv profile. It's at blip.tv slash Connor D. Um, and uh, also, if you have not seen my blog yet, it's connordemon.com. I usually post some more uh, exclusive or like just text based content um, or I repost my videos on there. You know, it's just kind of my personal website. So if you want to check that out, 
you uh, are also welcome to. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.